Good morning, everybody. This is Mike Widener with U.S. Launch Report. Behind me is the uh, Falcon 9, the new and improved Falcon 9. Uh, on top with the SES-9 satellite, the biggest and best that SES Communications has to offer. And it's going to be going to geosynchronous orbit and it will be giving TV service to over 120 million people in Southeast Asia. Unlike uh, December's uh, launch and landing of Orbcom, uh, this launch, the speed of the launch in order to get to geosynchronous orbit is gonna be uh, somewhere in the 9,000 kilometers per hour range. So the booster is going to be moving so fast that uh, they can't really get it back to the land. So it's going to be a barge landing and it's going to be a difficult one at that. So SpaceX is actually not even expecting to stick the landing. Uh, yesterday, Martin Hollywell uh, gave us all a briefing, a uh, pre-launch briefing. Uh, explained that this 12,000 pound plus Boeing built satellite uh, is going to be uh, uh, just the first in a series of three more that SpaceX will be launching for SES. SES is the largest private satellite company in the world. Martin Hollywell from uh, SES uh, was asked if he would use one of SpaceX's uh, boosters that had already been fired and he, he proclaimed that he'd be happy to as long as SpaceX had certified that the booster was good and that the price was right. That was his main uh, consideration, the price. So for you, it's 10 feet taller. It went from 1.3 million pounds thrust to 1.5 million pounds thrust. When you put three of these together, you have the Falcon Heavy. It'll be launching from 39A. Today we're at pad 40. Today's launch might get postponed because it's already starting to rain. So for U.S. Launch Report, Veteran Space Report, this is Mike Wagner. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Hey everyone, it's Randy Coppola, U.S. Launch Report, Veteran Space Report. You can see how much press interest there is in the SES-9 SpaceX launch tonight, which unfortunately we just learned was scrubbed due to the high winds. A huge front just passed through Florida. Even though it's not raining, we have upper high winds that are the reason for the scrub. So